So just here for a regular checkup, Mr. Bentley? Yeah, just the usual, Doc. Well, how have you been feeling? Is there anything that you want me to take a look at today? No, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, just the usual stuff, I guess. Okay. Well, I'll get you to lift up your shirt so I can have a listen to your heart. Well, that's new. What's that? It appears as though you have a gaping chasm of nothingness in yeah. your chest. Oh, that. Yeah, the wife thought I should ask about that. Have you had it long? A month, maybe two. Uh, any pain in or around the area? No, nothing. Any tenderness? No. Any dryness or flaking? No, not that I'm aware of. Do you mind, um... Any allergies? Any allergies? Yes, anything that could explain the chasm of despair. No, none that I know of. And you haven't been involved in any uh, accidents recently? Or? No. Okay. And you say you've had it about two months? Maybe three. Um, I didn't think it was a big deal, but the wife thought I should get a medical opinion. It is a little unusual. Is it dangerous? Not at this size, not if you catch it early. The uh, screams of the damned aren't keeping you awake at night, are they? Oh, I sleep like a baby. And your wife? Well, she can put up with my snoring, so... Right, right. <laughs> and nothing's changed recently in your life that might explain this circle of horror? No, nothing. It might be something that you didn't think anything of at the time, but in retrospect... Actually, now that I think about it... Yeah? Ah, uh, it's probably nothing. Oh, it could be something. Well, about three months ago, I was cursed by an old gypsy woman. Ah. Uh, yes, this is starting to make sense. How did it happen? Well, I accidentally ran her over with my car. That'll do it? Yeah, I just took my eyes off the road for a second and then BAM! And as I was piling leaves onto the shallow grave that I'd placed her in, she looked up and cursed me. Well, I'll write you a prescription. Oh, good. <laughs> 